Look at what Corsair gave me, gave me. Corsair's Glaive RGB mouse just hit the market, so keep a sharp eye out for that. This brand new weapon is 125.8mm long, 91.5mm wide, 44.6mm tall, and weighs 122 grams. The one provided to me is black with an aluminum accent, but they've also cut an all black model if that lines with your preferences instead. There are six buttons in total, left and right click, middle click, a DPI button behind the rubber gripped aluminum scroll wheel, and forward and backward thumb buttons, all of which can be reprogrammed except for the left click. Let's take a quick listen to that chatter. I don't know why I keep doing this. You have three RGB zones, the logo, the sharp looking light edge on the left and right, and I guess headlights on mice are becoming more popular. You've also got the stubborn DPI indicator on the mouse's back, forever locked in blue. On the underside, you'll find four or five extra large feet. And you know what large feet means. The mouse is well endowed with a 1.8 meter braided fiber cable. The mouse's shape was designed to maximize ergonomics, allowing you to game for days with no sleep, food, or bathroom breaks. And on the seventh day, I was promptly transported to the hospital for impending heart failure. But the doctor said my hand was in great shape. And now you're probably thinking, well, Steven, everyone's hands are different. How dare you make a claim so bold as to say my comfort is guaranteed? I can't, but I think it's a fairly safe bet. The mouse isn't wide enough to accommodate spots for your ring and pinky fingers, but it does have a textured rubber grip, making its shape pretty nice for claw grippers. On the other hand, or the same hand, if you're a palm gripper, the mouse's back has a real fulfilling curve, so you'll be covered on that front too. And for your thumb, you've got some options. The mouse comes with this nice little bag designed for holding the three included magnetic thumb grips, easily removed by abusing this little edge. The default one is smooth and makes the mouse feel real stealthy and sleek. The second is similar to the first, but it adds some additional width at the tip of your thumb, as well as a textured grip. A subtle but significant difference. The third is probably my favorite, because apparently I've got a bum thumb. Reminiscent of the Logitech G502 mouse, it's got a rubber texture and a fin at the bottom that serves as a legitimate thumb rest. With all that in mind, I'm almost positive that the majority of you will agree that this mouse fits like a glaive. Except for maybe some of you palm grippers that have larger than average hands. You may find that your index and middle finger overhang the front of the mouse a little. Like the Scimitar Pro, you can check my review of that out here. This mouse also packs the PMW3367 sensor, which allows for DPI adjustments in increments of one for that razor sharp accuracy, starting from 100 all the way up to 16,000. You can even configure your DPI for the X and Y axes separately if that floats your Corsair boat. Pulling rate can be adjusted from 125 to 250 to 500 to 1000 Hz, but why you'd ever use anything lower than that is beyond me. Whoever said the pen was mightier than the sword was obviously never hit by this mouse. Build quality is impressive, and paired with high performance Omron switches with an expected lifespan of 50 million clicks, this little guy should last you for many, many raids. Because Corsair and pirates, they raid things, usually. With all the physical aspects covered, that's my cue to talk about Q. Corsair's utility engine allows you to fine tune your macros, button mapping, surface calibration, and lighting. This mouse will officially be supported on version 2.12.66. If you gotta take your mouse on the go, you do get one onboard profile that supports more macros than you'd ever need and a max of four lighting effects. But I have no idea why you need more than that since you only have three customizable lighting zones anyway. You've got effects like rainbow, color shift, color pulse, static, and Lighting Link, which allows your Q-enabled RGB peripherals to sync together. When connecting your mouse, you'll want to be sure the firmware is up to date, but I wouldn't worry too much since Q will remind you if it sees something amiss. Surface calibration is super easy. In the Q application, click on your mouse, go to the Surface Calibration tab, grab your sails, and whip up a tiny whirlpool, being sure to keep the needle head in the green. And then you're done. I've done several extensive videos on Q before, covering things from macros to timers to all the glorious RGB effects so you can check those out up here or in the description below. As sharp as the glaive and all its perks are, there is one thing that makes it a bit dull. My one and only issue with this mouse is with the DPI indicator. This is just as confusing to me as those motherboards that are RGB enabled, but are covered with red accents. 
The Scimitar Pro RGB Mouse's DPI indicator told you what resolution your sensor was running at based on colors you could set. But the Glaives indicator, while being easier to read at a glance due to the indicator being in steps, is locked in blue only. Another thing with the DPI indicator, this point being significantly less devastating, as a palm gripper, you cover it completely. But if you go to click the DPI cycle button, you'll be able to get a quick glance in. Unless you have some freakishly strange clicking habits. I tried really hard to find things I didn't like about it, but I honestly couldn't. So I... Glaive up. The mouse is solid. Its PMW3367 sensor is a Corsair customized version of the 3360 sensor, which is probably one of the best sensors on the market. And it's legitimately one of the most comfortable mice I've ever used. All this and a bag of ships for 70 US dollars, making it $10 cheaper than the Scimitar Pro. So while you get 11 less buttons, you save 10 bucks and you have a sweet, curvy body to caress. At the same time, $10 more gets you 11 more buttons. So if you're a big macro guy, the Scimitar should definitely be on your radar. Back to the Glaive, the only things I would have liked to see added are left and right scroll wheel tilt buttons because it's subtle and more buttons is more better, and it doesn't add to the general look. An RGB LED on the scroll wheel similar to the Scimitar would help balance out the look nicely, and speaking of balance, weight tuning on a Corsair mouse would be smooth sailing for me. So that's all I have to say about that. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe, share, links to buy will be in the description. First is my Amazon affiliate link, which will give me a small kickback when you buy stuff at no additional cost to you. But if you think I deserve to be on the unfriendly end of a dangerous weapon, there is a regular Amazon link just a little further down. Thanks for watching, my name is Steven and I am a little dim. Bye bye. But they've also cut an all black model if that- Oh, damn it. I, I missed the opportunity to stress the bad joke. But they've also cut an all black model if that's- uh, If that's aligns is what I wrote. <sighs> Would you believe English is my first language? As well as my only language. Let's take a quick listen to that chatter. I don't know why I did that. I don't know, this is kind of fun to do. It's like a very fluid motion, like wee. The logo, the sharp looking, the mouse is well endowed with a 1.8 meter, meter? I think I stressed a syllable that didn't exist to accommodate spots for your ring and pinky fingers, but it does, you lagged, buddy, come on. But it does have a textured rubber grip, rubbered grip, rubber grip, rubber grip. Fits like a glaive. Glaive and glove don't rhyme, but that's the closest thing I can come up with which allows your Q-enabled RGB peripherals to sync together because Corsair and boats and I don't know. This point being significantly less devastate, devastating is a Corsair customized version, customized. Oh boy. So while you get 11 less buttons, you save 10 bucks and you have a sweet curvy body to caress. I don't know what I was staring at. I probably should have done something more entertaining than that. <laughs>